Welcome back. Today we're opening a mini verse, make it mini lifestyle series one, but wave two. Let's see which one we got. All right, let's see what we got this time. Looks like maybe an animal. It's a round jar, so that has to be new. Oh, maybe it's not an animal. Maybe it's a plant. I forgot there's a lot of. No, it is an animal. It's a clownfish. So that's the one from wave one, the only one from wave one that we still need. So that's awesome. We have this cool little yellowish orange plant and then multicolored gravel. It's kind of like a grayish purple and a pink. That's so exciting. And we of course have our little water that was at the bottom too. So here is what it's gonna look like. And on the back, we're going to add the gravel. Then you add the plant and the fish and the resin, but only up to about where the gravel is. And then you cure it and then you add the rest. And that is just to avoid air bubbles. But no matter what I do, it seems like I always get air bubbles. But let's see if we can do it this time with the least amount of air bubbles possible. So here's our container, that's pretty big. We have our gravel. I like the color of this one, it's really pretty. The purple and the pink. And they give you a lot, but you don't need much of it. What I put in here might actually be too much, but we'll see. Because a lot of that, that's where your air is gonna hide and cause those air bubbles. So I normally put it in to see about how high I like it. And at that point is when I'll add the plants and the fish. And I might need some more gravel to kind of hide the bases of these, especially the fish, because the fish has a clear base and I don't want that to be seen. Okay, let's see if I can push that in there. Kind of twist it back and forth. You could use like a toothpick or the tongs that they give you to help hide and push down the stuff. But look how cute the fish is. I love him. Okay, let's put the fish over here. I'll probably have to adjust this off camera because it's hard to do when there's a camera in between you and the item you're trying to adjust. I think we're ready to roll here. And you want to make sure you're just adding enough to get on top of those rocks. Like I said, to minimize the bubbles and you can let it rest if you want. So the resin can kind of roll around and sink where it needs to sink. And I think that's probably enough. Just going to wait mm, about three minutes or so before I go outside with it. That has successfully cured, so now we're going to add the rest. And this is very liquidy, comes out very easily. The only question is, how high do I fill it? Let me see what they did on the thing. They filled it up pretty high. I'm gonna give it one more squeeze. A lot of air bubbles in there, which I will pop here soon with my toothpick. Whoa, and then we'll set it outside again. This is probably the best one I've done. I did let it sit on the counter for a while and that helped because then when you do move it, bubbles form so you're able to pop them. But there's one there inside or kind of right clinging to the plant that snuck up on me. But other than that, pretty clear. The tiny ones I'm okay with because it kind of makes it look more natural. But if you want to see what else we get, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.